Hi, and welcome to another helpful tutorial video from Ship Our Wedding, where we help you easily and affordably plan gorgeous DIY events. Today we'll show you how simple it is to set up a portable projector screen to use at your event. When planning an event or a function, sometimes you'll need a project video. But once you have the projector set up and you have the media ready to go in the projector, where does the video go? Do you project it onto a wall? Do you project it onto drapes? The most common solution is to take the projector and project it onto an actual projector screen. We don't recommend projecting on the drapes, like the ones behind me, because they're pleated. And when your projector goes into the pleats, it creates an uneven image for viewing. What's great about having a projector screen is that it's a flat surface that when you project onto it, the image comes out crisp and clean. So it's very noticeable. Before we go DIY, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Not on our website yet? Click the link in the video description for more rental info. The same thing goes with walls. If you project onto a wall, it might have a pattern, it might have a very dark color, so the projector might not look good on a wall, especially if there's wood or border, trim, light fixtures. So once again, we would also recommend the projector screen. Our projector screen is portable, it's easy to set up. It is not a rear projection surface, you can only project from the front. One reason why our projectors and projector screens are so popular, what most venues will do is they will contract out a third party AV company that's local in the area. That AV company will give them a quote to set up a projector and a screen and the venue will go ahead and mark that price up in their contract. So to make sure you're getting the best price, we do encourage you to check your date's availability through our website to see how we can help you with projector and projector screens. So let's go ahead and set up the portable projector screen. This is a base plate. There's a beveled middle hole the screw goes into. The screw is in the barrel and has a beveled edge. The screw will fit into the middle hole flat and while holding with your finger, hand tighten the ferrule into the screw. We'll only use a center hole during assembly. If it is hard to remove the ferrule, use a hammer and gently tap on both sides. Next, hold the back with your finger and then remove. End of your event, put the screw back into the ferrule so it doesn't end up missing. Lay your assembled base plates on the ground. Next, slide your uprights over the center base plate ferrule. If it is a tight fit, only force out of the ferrule 50% and not all the way down. Afterwards, assemble your crossbar. It comes in three pieces. The two pieces with hooks should be on the outside and slide into the third piece on the first hole, making it 10 feet long. Once you get your projector screen, you'll lay it out like this. It is a 10 by 10 design. So you'll notice there's a couple pockets. There's one at the top, and there's also gonna be one at the bottom. After you've assembled your crossbar, you'll slide one through the top pole pocket, one through the bottom pole pocket. There's no front or back to this projector screen. You can set it up either way. You'll take your crossbar and slide it into the pole pocket. One will go into the top, the other will be at the bottom, and this will hang. And gravity will pull it straight down, giving you a flat surface to project onto. Then you will grab your crossbar and click it into the upright. This is a close-up of putting your crossbar into the upright. Pull on the edge of the projector screen at the top of the crossbar so it is completely flat. Next, raise up your upright in increments going back and forth between uprights to the desired height. Make sure you're setting your projector screen up on a clean surface. This way you do not get your projector screen dirty. Do not step on the projector screen during setup. This way you have a clean surface to project onto. Do not raise past the sticker. Always leave a small gap between your upright and ceiling because you will have to raise the upright slightly by pushing up on the movable metal piece. And this is what a projector screen looks like set up. We recommend bundling with our optional DIY projector rental for the best results. Browse ship our wedding for DIY tutorial videos and get started by checking your date's availability. Together, let's help you plan the event you deserve. Hey everyone, now that you know how to set up a projector screen for your event, watch our videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.